Peter, after a better second half performance, you must be leaving Nottingham frustrated after the way we started the game. <laughs> yeah, I think some of them were still on the bus, I think, from the first 15 minutes. Um, yeah, I mean, listen, it was, it was always going to be tough here, we knew that. Um, and 20 minutes in, obviously, I think one or two of the players realised how tough it was going to really be. Um, but we felt that we hadn't applied ourselves properly again. Um, we've had the same conversation in there again now that we did on, on Saturday. So a week ago where we can't be a Jekyll and Hyde side. We, can't, we cannot come out and, and give teams a head start and then expect to, to do what we did to get, try and get back in the game. But I'd have thought that you know, for, for 55, 55 minutes, we, uh, we were very competitive against them. So, and uh, we got back in the game. And in the end, it showed a lot, you know, a lot of promise to our boys with the fact that they were trying to keep it in the corner, trying to run time down uh, when they were three shot because they were hanging on. And uh, we've got to take the positives from it. Um, we, we've got to work with the, uh, with, the, with the negatives and try and put that right. Um, but we need to enhance the positives. And like I said, I thought on the, on the front foot, I thought we were very, very good at times. We caused them problems, created chances, got back in the game. And, and there was, a f uh, for one point, uh, for long periods of the second half, we were more, far more threatening than they did. And then a little bit of naivety with the goal. You know, we got done on the halfway line. You take the foul, take the foul, give the free kick away and we reset and we start again. But unfortunately, you know, which is not a bad thing. They're, we're a very honest bunch and, and we decided not to take the foul and, and they broke away and, and scored the fourth goal, which I think was a little bit harsh on us. But, but like I said, it's, a, it's certainly a step forward, I think. And we, we've come here and like I said, they're a, you know, they're a fantastic team and, and they're, they're certainly you know, head and shoulders above what we've played so far. And, uh, but for long periods, we've matched them, which outside of the first 15 minutes, we've, we've matched them for long periods of the game. The big positive for this afternoon has got to be another two goals to JJ. That's three in a week. He's looking really sharp. I, 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 listen, I, at the end of the day, JJ's brought in to do that job, to score goals. Um, so, I've, like I said, the main positive for us was, was that we, we competed with them for 60 minutes and we gave them a game for 60 minutes. Unfortunately, the damage was done in the first 15. Yes, JJ's in good scoring form. He still needs to work on his game and add to his game, as they all do. Um, but it's slowly coming together. And like I said, if JJ keeps scoring goals, then like I said, we'll be, we'll be happy. We just need to turn them goals into three points. At the start of the second half, it looked like we were getting ahead of steam with, with that second goal. And then the sting got sort of taken out of the game. Did that sort of affect us going into the last 10 minutes? Because it sort of affected the momentum. I don't think so. I think you look at their team, they're a very experienced side. Um, they've got lots of good knowledge, you know, when to slow it down and when to, to take the sting out of it a little bit. So, but I thought we continued to stay on the front foot. We continued to be positive. We continued to, to press and ask questions. Um, yeah, there was a lull in, the, in, the, in that spell, but we're only one goal behind. We're, it's only one chance away from us getting back into the game. So, so I don't think that affected the players too much. I think that there was a, it was a quiet spell, but that's understandable. We're the away team. Um, and they're, a, you know, like I said, they're a, they're a decent club, and they, they're coached well, and they and they've been together a little while now. So, uh, so like I said, so we expected to be out of possession for periods of the game. Probably not as much as we thought we were going to be. I mean, like I said, we had we've had lots of good possession in, in certain areas of the pitch, we just didn't quite capitalise on it. Now you mentioned there in the first answer about taking the positives into Tuesday night. How important is it that when we return to home turf on Tuesday, we use the positives and really take it into a full game? Yeah, without doubt. I mean, we've just said that, that there's obviously something not quite right uh, with our mentality because it's, it's certainly not about our ability or our fitness or our quality. We've proved today for 60 minutes that we've more than matched them, and they're going to be not far off. They're going to be they're, they're going to be they're going to be the ones to chase, I think. So, like I said, so there, so we've matched them for for long periods of the game. So, so it's definitely a mentality thing and it's something that we need to work on. So we'll, we'll work it on Monday. We've just said in there now that obviously, you know, the, the aim now is to come and put a, that performance in from the very beginning of the game on Tuesday. And we're looking for a positive result from the two home games we've got coming up. Josh obviously came back into the fold this afternoon. That'll be a big boost with the games coming thick and fast. Yeah, it was. I mean, like I said, it was nice to get him out on the pitch. Uh, yes, he looked a little bit rusty, but that's always to be expected. Um, so yeah, so we're, we're it's, a, it's a positive for us. He's had no effects from the 25, 20 minutes he got, so that's good. Um, and then we'll obviously, you know, he'll come into contention again for Tuesday. And just lastly, Elliot missed out uh, today. Is, yeah. What's the update on him? So Elliot, Elliot felt he's growing a little bit on Tuesday when he came off. So he came off just towards the end, just after he scored his goal. Um, he rested Wednesday, Thursday, trained on Friday, 
and he was fine for the first 45 minutes and then just went to play a ball down the line in the, in the 11 v 11 that we had and uh, and he just felt it twinge again a little bit so again I'd rather him not play today and we not take the risk of it and keep him out for maybe a couple of days and hopefully he might be okay for next week rather than take a risk and a gamble and then it be be much longer term.